Hello and welcome. I'm Sandy, Independent Stampin Dem Stampin' Up! Demonstrator in Canada. And I'm so glad you joined me today. We're going to make a simple, elegant card using the music from my heart stamp set. Now, I'm just going to make sure my video is working before we get too far along, because wouldn't that be embarrassing? Oh yeah, there's my hands. There we go. <laughs> I know there's my hands anyway if you haven't seen this um, in the new mini it's on page 57 and it's got lots of cute little notes um, make a guitar the piano and then the sentiments and for a stamp set like this I think the beauty of it is that it not only has images that are wonderful it has really really nice little sentiments so make sure I don't tip that too much. So um, yeah, just a note, forget your troubles. Oh, that's so punny. <laughs> anyway, let's get started. Let us get started. So, oh, I just want to mention that I am going to be using one of the stamps from my meadow. I believe it's this one and, or this one. Hmm, I think it's this one. And uh, I'll show you why in a couple of seconds. Now, when we're using photopolymer, this is the catalog, by the way, in case you haven't seen it. And if you do need it, a catalog, certainly let me know. Hey, Judy, good morning. How are you? Alrighty. So first things first, um, my card today was inspired by a uh, fellow demonstrator, Alison Okamitsu, and I certainly hope I said her name properly. All right. So uh, first thing is a piece of Whisper White. Now, this is just the regular, not the thick. Uh, cardstock cut at four by five and a quarter and then we get our stamp so this is one of the that's the stamp I was talking about from the uh, my meadow yeah my meadow had to check that and let's see I'm deciding which color I was using oh yeah I do know okay so anyway wh yeah when you're when you're using photopolymer you want to put some kind of cushion underneath now you can get the um, oh think of the word you can use catalog and some and some um, grid paper absolutely fine um, and we also have the paper piercing mat mine happen to be downstairs in my studio so that's why we're not using that so first things first this is flirty flamingo and I'm just going to ink this up and a couple different ways you can do this um, I don't have my um, watercolor paper yet that I just ordered um can't expect it to arrive overnight right let's not let's be silly um anyway so i'm smushing using this stamp set so if you have watercolor paper um you're going to use your aqua painter and as soon as i get that we'll be doing some watercoloring so what i want to do is just smush so and the reason why i say smush is i really don't want solid edges we're going to be going back into that ink pad a couple times just so you know I'm not pressing really hard because I want to get it started and then I can build on it no, I don't want solid edges not this time okay let's try this way oh there's so many different ways you can do this it's just kind of fun because it's kind of like being uh, being a kid uh, hi Lisa, how are you today? Thank you for joining me and and your your guess on which stamp set we would be using today. Now, when I say stamp set, uh, I mentioned at the beginning this is from my meadow, and I'm just doing a little bit of smushing because I'm building a little background. It's mostly going to be covered up, so I'm not going to get too excited about how perfect and wonderful it is. All right, let's go with that. Okay, so I'm done with that one. <clears throat> um, I'm not done with that color though, so I'm not going to put that away. Next into the, I should show you the card we're making today. Wouldn't that be nice? Wow. Okay, here's the card we're making. Super simple. You can see on this one, I went a lot lighter. And that's the beauty of smushing. You can get whatever level of coverage you want. 
I think for a video it's probably good to go dark so you can see that. Oh, there's the first ink of the day. <laughs> when you use a bigger stamp set or stamp like this, you want to bring the stamp set to the uh, paper, to the, um, bring the ink to the stamp set. Oh, good gracious. And to answer your question, yes, I did sleep last night, so I don't know. All right. And oh, let's put that over in the you're going to be clean section. All right. Back to this one. All righty. Let's start with this. I am not the least bit musically inclined. So exactly what you call these, I couldn't tell you. I will show you some other cards that were made. Now, one thing, I, I, I did this as a sample and went earlier, like I did actually a few, um, is you want to get your notes going straight rather than this way. Because I do believe they would be straight up and down, not on an angle like my first ones. I'm like, this doesn't look right. I wonder why this doesn't look right. Now I know why it didn't look right, you know? Oh, yeah. Ah, I have to think up a new one for next week, Lisa. Think up a new hint for the next stamp set we're going to use. It's a lot of fun. And I can't wait to get playing with it. Just been busy lately. Still on the hunt for uh, a little bit, a few more pieces of furniture for my uh, studio. And I know where I can get them. It's just a matter of being patient and they will come in. Oh, thank you. <laughs> thank you. Hey, I'm not even that far and it's cute. Yay. Oh, that was your other one. Duh, silly me. Alrighty. So, oh, you know what? We're not done with the black. I'm going to put the sentiment on right away. And this one says just a note. Again, with the puns, you know. Love it. Love it. Make sure that's good and inked up. I re-inked this last night. And one thing, when you use the tuxedo black, you definitely want to have a reinker. Definitely, definitely want to have reinker, because you want to keep it good and dark when you're stamping. Okay, lid, and you want to find your lid so you can cover it and not leave it open and get your sleeve in it. Alrighty, so bringing back in flirty flamingo and blushing bride. Yes, yes. I have never done that before. <laughs> Apparently I'm stronger than I look. Wow, that was crazy. Wow. Okay, we're just going to use it like that. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh, I amuse myself. Oh, like, holy mackerel, how did I do that? Oh, you know what? I just changed the card. Well, I'm going to put it. I'm going to, I think I just dipped. I just think I just double dipped. I totally threw myself off. Okay, let's stick to this color and I'll clean it. I'm going to have fun putting that back on. I kind of like it. Like, that's kind of flat, but I like it. All right. And the reason why I only open one at a time, there's a really good reason for that, is because I like to clean the stamp in between and not, not mix the colors. Since, it's, since I didn't mix, say, um, early espresso into my into my flirty flamingo I'm pretty sure everything will be okay and even if I did okay you away <laughs> before I do, do it again um, even if I did it's easy enough to to clean and fix up now I I did that a different not the way I wanted to so like I said I'm gonna change that a bit oh one more up here I feel like I need one up here Okay, give that a wee clean, and up we go. And hmm, hmm, okay, that can just sit to the side away with you. Well, that was just so darn tootin' silly. Closed. Okay, next, I'm going to use the Wink Estella, like so. Okay, here's what we learned with Wink Estella. If you do this, you're opening up the whole thing. All you do is pull the lid. Okay, and we're going to splatter. It's like, that's why I think this is such a fun card, because splattering's fun. Now, I always find if I splatter here, it's going back this way. So if you start over here, now, I just felt it on my hand, actually. 
oh yeah there's a little ballast here you want to give that a little squeeze not too hard get the get the the wink going and then just splatter so we're going to do this and then set it aside then i'm going to do the um, sentiment the way i wanted and it's you know what's really funny is i did the exact same thing when i was making the uh the sample that i showed you the exact same thing now with this it's hard to see it oh and apparently i got some of the uh, flirty flamingo elsewhere. Usually we can cover those up, but for now, forgive me. Forgive me, apparently I'm having a rough day. <laughs> okay, here's our little sentiment layer. That's what I meant to do. It's always what I meant to do. So let's go there and let's do that one more time. And if we're really lucky, we'll get to do that straight and only have to do it once. Okay, let me think. Thinking, thinking. Yes, let's go right. Didn't look dark enough. I was with, with photopolymer and these clear blocks, of course, you can see through. And if it doesn't look like you have enough on it, do it again. So I'm going to go right, uh, right, right, right. I'll go right here. Ho, ho, ho. Okay, maybe that little oops was a one time thing. One could hope. I do not know. Okay, so again, while that's drying, I need to do a little bit of snipping. So this is the tailored tag punch. And I'm just going to make a little banner end. So you put that in, back it up, or as I like to say, back that train up. Ta-da. And then I'm going to talk a little bit more about the mini cutter. But other than the fact to say that you need one of these. And right about there. Isn't it cute? So cute. That needs to dry. My ink is uh, uber inky. Uber inky. Um, this guy. Actually, I think we'll be okay. Even if it smudges, it's not the end of the world. Oh, I smudged the back with my fingers. And then we need snail. I'm going to put some of this on. And this is the... Stop rolling away on me. This is the uh, silver metallic thread. And I'll show you, people use this different ways and I'll show you how I do it, which is. Now, some people, when I say that, they'll make their loops like right on the paper. I just use my fingers. And this is small. Sometimes if I'm making a big loop, I'm gonna use four, but I'm just gonna use two fingers because it's small and they will loosen anyway. So go around your fingers a few times three, four, five times, whatever you like. I say the messier, the better. So silver metallic thread. That's in the annual catalog. Alrighty, this can loosen up a bit. I want them to be a little wonky. So that would, that would suit my personality really well, wonky. There we go. And then I see a little end. So I'm just gonna go back and give that a wee trim. Ta-da! So far, so good. <laughs> okay, I think we're done with that. And we're done with that. Let's get those out of the way. Oh, I think I put enough ink everywhere. I've got to get my dimensionals out. Everything is very handy. All my stamp, all my stamp pads are back here, lined up in order. I know how organized. How organized is that? Yes. So I'm just gonna. Put that right on top of there, even with the little smudge. There we go. Put the, take the dimensionals off the back, and on we go. There. Covered up, you would never know I did that. Okay, so for this card, I'm using a Whisper White base. And it is eight and a half by five and a half, score at four and a quarter. That is my standard North American measurement. I don't do centimeters. We learned it in school and sadly, actually, sadly, I did not learn it in school. Before metric came in, I had left school, aged myself. I'm okay with that. Now there's two things we can do here. Put this right on the card and have a nice little simple card. But I wanted to bring it up a notch. So what I did is cut a piece of the um, champagne foil sheets this is four and one eighth, four and one eighth by five and 
three eighths. And I'm going to attach that there. So get a little bit of snail, snail, Tombow or Tombow. Uh oh, not too thick. My strong, my hands are being strong today. Why, why? When you don't want them to be, or when you're trying to get the lid off something and they aren't strong. And then down we go. I'm just using that wiggle time that you have with Tombow to move things. And then doing a little bit of, I have hand cream on, so I don't want to burnish it with my hand cream. There we go. And that just, that just adds that little bit of shine and sparkle that makes this a special card for the person receiving it. Plain is good too. I have no problem with that. I like quick, easy, simple cards. But if you can step it up, especially for a video, why not, right? Why not? All right, so we've got our Wink Estella on there. Uh, not a ton. Not a ton. And I'll show you the inside of the card. Now, I did take a little bit more time on this card um, to, like, really, really, really use the uh, Wink Estella a lot. And then the little birds, which come in the set. Now, there, there are three different... Uh, little stamps and what I did is I put them all on this same block and just stamped them once. I thought that would be fun. So there is the card for today. I do want to show you a couple other cards using the same set. Okay so this one I received at our team meeting from my upline and it was for um, uh, meeting a, or getting to a, a sales it's kind of like you know your five year ten year whatever one of those to a little plateau. Oh, plateau sounds bad. But anyway, I believe these lines, <clears throat> pardon me. Oh, here we go. <clears throat> pardon me, uh, were um, used. Uh, I think that's Sharpie, but I like the way they, they flow. It looks very musical. So there's the one. And then this is what we made in the team meeting. And what I did is I waited till I got home and I added lots and lots of Wink Estella to it. This also uses the heart punch also in the um, the new mini. Very cute and very fun with all the different colors. Sweet. Now, one thing I want to mention is you can get these free um, with a $60 order. And now we have to put an end on everything. And that means that um, I can only offer this for X number of days. Well, an end date. So um, with, a, with a $60 order, that's before tax and shipping, you can get these rhinestones as a gift from me. They're the champagne rhinestones out of the mini catalog. And again, that ends January the 10th. They are so pretty. I use them on um, a lot. I was gonna use them in this card and then I realized mm, they don't match. <laughs> Thank you, Lisa. I think so too. The foil just takes it from, that's a pretty card to Lamo, you know, Lamo. All right, now, this is a card that I had made uh, for a blog post, and it uses the Gangs All Mirror, which is a free celebration product. The reason I'm showing you that is it does use also the, oh, oh, I forget the name of it. <laughs> I'm going to call it the Bamboo Background because I'm not sure. I should look it up. Isn't that sad? I should look it up. They are so darn toot and cute. And um, what I want you to do is after, there it is, Coastal Weave. Yeah, bamboo. I was, I was not even close at all. <laughs> not even at all. After the video, head over to my blog. Uh, my blog post uh, um, link is in the description above. And it talks about joining my team. Now, before you just click and go, yeah, heard it need to show you a couple things. So, and this is for Canada. Um, every country has their own um, amount. So for in Canada, when you join my team, you get the adorable little mini cutter. Perfect. It is the perfect size to sit on my desk all the time. You also get, this might be a hint for next week, by the way, Lisa. <laughs> you also get 48 sheets of this six by six um, designer series paper, which is a sampling of a whole bunch. 
So you can do golf. I love plaid and I love argyle. Well, we learned that from the uh, the plaid paper, which of course I've forgotten the name of from the holiday. How fun is that? I think it's upside down actually. That's pretty. I just ordered another package of this. The tropical, tropical, which goes with that, which goes with that um, embossing folder. This is from the All Dressed. Catalog is new enough that I don't know all the names. Anyway, so there's your paper sampling. And it's double-sided. Also get a $70 business package. Now, when, when you go through the sign-up, it's going to say, do you want that? Click yes, because you get a free paper pumpkin with that. Paper pumpkin kit. You want that, because it's free. Not only that, you're going to get catalogs. And if you don't want them, hand them out to your friends. You know, I was going to say recycle them, but don't. You can always take them to your thrift store. All right. So, so far for $165, we got this, this. I'm sorry, I said that backwards. For $135, you get to choose $165 in products from the mini or the annual catalog. You just can't make it host sets or celebration, which is not a big deal. And then you get the mini cutter, the paper, you get a stamp set. Aside from your $165 worth of goodies you get to choose, you get a stamp set of your choice, any price. So when you're making up your kit, are you going to choose like the $20 um, stamp set for your freebie? No, you're going, to, you're going to go for one more expensive, of course. That way you get more in your kit. Duh, here we go. Yay. The yeah. Um, anyway, and it's in most provinces in Canada, there's no tax with this um, starter kit and it ships free on my blog. So when we're done, pop over to my blog because I will show you other benefits for you. What, what you would, it's kind of the question is why would I want to? Well, why would you not? There's no risk whatsoever. There's no risk. Um, if you decide it's not for you, well, you simply drop from the system. But because it's celebration, you wouldn't drop from the system until the end of June, which means you get all those months of enjoying the discount, which is 20% for starters. Uh, that is awesome. So I want you to think about it. If you have any questions, let me know. And let's just bring in the card again. There we go. And I'll say thank you so much for joining me, and I will see you again next Tuesday. Bye-bye.